Okay, hello everybody. Hello writers. Happy Monday morning. Happy Monday, Ted. What's happening? <laughs> I I tipped our hat the last time that we're going to start talking about time today. It's very cliche. Time is so important. But what would you like to layer onto the importance of time, Ted? Well, interesting enough, I just want people to slow down and think about how they use your time. You know, under this umbrella of like thinking that like a Monday month. Monday morning jumpstart, if there was one thing for you to start thinking about this week, first of all, it would be to slow down. And, and what language are you using around time? What have you convinced yourself around time? Yeah. And then do a real honest assessment about how you use your time. And so what I mean by that is how often do people say, I wish I had more time in the day? Well, that wish ain't coming to true. So stop wishing for it and then maximize your time. And so again, fulfillment, prosperity, mm -hmm. right? Look at your day, the time that you're spending, are you feeding one of those buckets, right? Are you feeding the fulfillment bucket? Or are you feeding the prosperity bucket? Or is a lot of your time spent doing meaningless things? And sometimes we just need completely meaningless TV show yes. and just the mind. Up. So don't hear me that, don't swing it all the way over here that I'm saying that we don't need those things or just the, you know, zen out, whatever we say. Now, yeah. having said that, um, People come to me all the time, all the time. I want time management training or how can I better manage my time and all the rest of it. And I'm always like, manage your time. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, what do you want me to do? Like, there's yeah. all these different fixes and different calendars and, and you know, technology yeah. gadgets and apps and all the rest of this stuff. None of that is going to fix the internal problem of you not catching your tail. Like you're a dog that can't catch his tail and you're using all the language around time that you don't have enough of it and so but what i do is just a time game so they come to me i don't, I don't have enough time i don't have enough time i don't have enough time well let's just really outline how much you do. what do you do boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they realize that 90 minutes of their day is spent on facebook like mm -hmm. think about just that how many americans right now say they don't have time but are doing this with their thumb or their finger or however they scroll through their phone for 60 to mind unconsciously. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, they still don't. I mean, I, it, it is very difficult. Um, but I think that, I think, you know, there is a common theme and everything that we talk about today. And it's like empowering yourself. Like you are the one that has ownership and power of your life, of your journey, of your career, all of it, right? It all comes back down to you. It's not external. It's all you. So if you take back that power, I, I remember like um, years ago before I joined AWAI and I had this desire, like this super strong desire to leave the job that I was at. Okay. Now 8.30 to 5.30, I lived an hour away and I was like, where am I going to get any time to do anything? Right. And for those three, I think it was three to six months, what I would do is I woke up an hour or two earlier than what I normally would. So I created time there, right? And I would go to the gym because I knew I needed to get my mind in the best place. And for me, that was working out, right? Um, in order to create that. And then I I went to, I don't know if you know, you know this about me, Ted. I went to real estate school, but I had to go in the evening. So there was, really? three, yeah, three days a week where I was at school until 11 o'clock at night after being at work and like starting at gym, being at work all day, going to real estate school, just because I was desiring that change that we are talking about, right? Like it was so strong in me. And like, I thank goodness I've, I've always felt like very powerful for, and had like control of my life to a certain degree, obviously, and desired to make that change. So I had to carve out that time. I had to make sacrifices, right? Because I think with change comes sacrifice most times. So it's like, what are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to sacrifice that social media? You know, some, at the time it was time with my husband. It was sleeping in, right? That I had to sacrifice these certain things. And really like it, it was so finite and came down to like how I was spending my day and like the parts of it that I were out of my control, which a lot of people listening will probably still have a full-time job. And so they might feel like there's parts of the day that are not controlled by them. But the, what part of it, I would employ you to also think about, can you control and can you rein back in to create the future that you want to create? Yeah, I just pile on because I even challenge people. You know, I work with businesses across the country and all the time 
people think it's out of their control because I have to clock in and clock out. And I'm like, not really. Mm. It's, it's within your control more than you think. Because, for example, how many people stay till six o'clock just to show face? Yeah. They're not output. There's no more. They're, they're not offering value past five o'clock, yeah. but they don't yeah. want the boss to see them leave versus showing that they're valuable, showing that they can get the outcome and then being convicted and leaving at five o'clock and testing the waters to see if anything happened. Well, if their performance is on point. So again, you bring up this thing about, I believe most of it's within our control. Now there's sacrifice involved. There's need bees, but my Lord, do we, we are waste. We waste a lot of time. Yes. It's factual. <laughs> you know, and, and I think on the same vein, because it can, you know, seem difficult as well. I would also say that just like 30 minutes of your day, right? If you can take 30 minutes, say it's in the morning or the evening or sometime of your day, and they're super focused, right? Like, I'll be very transparent and tell you that I've been doing a practice this week where I'm just trying for 10 minutes, which I put a time on my phone. It's really difficult, actually. 10 minutes to just be still, do a body scan, feel my heartbeat, feel where I have tension in my body, you know, like just be still with myself. When I let thoughts come up and when they come up, still them and, you know, shoo them away and go back to like the heartbeat. 10 minutes of that, like 10 minutes of working out and another 10 minutes of like make journaling. That's pretty much my morning right now. And I will tell you just 30 minutes of um, putting towards yourself and investing in yourself and doing something that feels good for you. It changed so much for me. Most people say they don't have time for that. Yeah. Well, yeah, Which is our point today. Day. Yeah. So Ted, what Which do you is think, our point today. What should our challenge be for everybody this week or what should we implore them to do? Do you think it's looking I at want you to do an, I just want you to do an audit of your time okay. and be real with yourself. Yeah. Like I don't have time to write really. And I'm being, I'm being a little playful with this, but I'm, uh, I'm actually being pretty serious with this one. Yeah. You know, I don't have time to do X. You know, I used to work with this psychologist and he told me this because I get pretty, you know, I get banged up about time with kids, for example, yeah. right. My, my two sons. And he used to say, you're so banged up in length of time versus quality of time, Ooh. which is, whew, pretty serious. Like your sons would rather you be a half hour completely dialed into them versus, and this just is supporting what you just said. What if you were dialed into what you were doing in the moment, writing or whatever, or dialed into whatever, trying to grow your business and map that out during the day versus I don't have enough time and you're sporadically doing it supports what we talked about weeks ago with the big rock thing. You got to identify the big rocks. Now you got to manage your time. Yeah. Love it. Okay. And we say it every week, Ted, another big one, <laughs> another big topic. We're going to change these Monday morning jump starts to big topics with Ted and Jane. <laughs> right. Right. And so next week, we're going to learn a little bit more about, I would say, how to turn tragedy into triumph um, and, and what you're doing with tragedy and difficult times in your life. And Ted is, I will tell you for fact, the man when it comes to this. Isn't that your tagline, Ted? Helping people and companies grow before tragedy. There we go. We'll start with that next week. I'll explain okay. that. Beautiful. Awesome. See everybody then. Bye. Cool.